All right, so it's Saturday morning. <coughs> a bunch of the places are starting to clear out. There's takeoffs going on there, and there, and there, all over the place. But, so I thought I'd give you guys a little base camp tour. So we're in North 40. Um, I'll put the map up right now, which is, as soon as that plane goes by, um, which is on the north side of the airport and we're just south of the 2709 runway. Um, we have showers right over there, uh, porta potties and water right there, the buses that take you to places going by right now. Um, so it's, at, it's a pretty good spot. We're about a quarter to a half a mile away from the main portion of where all the exhibits are, but it's a good camping spot right here. Fairly quiet um, with everything you need. Now, if you do come, a couple things. One, you need power. Um, the nearest power outlets are the nearest power to, power outlets are like right over there where the red tent is, and then there's some over that direction. There's a store and showers over there. So every couple hundred yards, there's power, store, and shower. We came, we brought solar panels, so we got this solar panel and this solar panel and they are charging up this Rockpel's uh, power storage unit. So basically right now it's charging 60 watts um, at 60 watts and I'm using 10 watts to, char to charge my phone and my iPad. So it's a great little setup because you can just throw the power panel, solar panels on top of your elevator or on the ground like that and then fill this thing up and this thing has enough power to power um, my cell phone, my iPad, a laptop if I had it, and it had enough to fill my full-on airbed that I put in here. So that works out pretty well. Um, it's all you need. It's only like 10 pounds and for 400 bucks it sure beats a generator. Um, I'll put a link to that below actually if you want to take it, take a look. Anyway, from there, um, what, what I'll do is we'll head down to the, hop on one of the buses and head down to the main exhibition area and show you some of the highlights. So before we go down to the main area, I forgot to say a couple things. You need to bring tie downs. If you don't have tie downs, they have them here for rent, but bring them. And we screwed up, we forgot to have a tow bar. So we had to, these guys over here in the 182 right there, had a tow bar for us and we use that to get our, ourselves into our spot. There goes a Bonanza waving his wings. So we just took the bus from down there. Now this is where all the yaks and the T6s are. And all the older warbirds over here. So we got some Navions, old Cessnas, and a lot of the T6s are out flying right now, but let's go take a look. This one right ahead of us looks really cool. And from here, I'm gonna jump in and out of this video with some voiceovers, because I did a horrible job of describing what I was looking at well out in Oshkosh. Anyway, this is a stunningly beautiful T6, and we got to watch it fly a few times. There's a few taking off in the background there. I think this one's about to start up. And there goes another F-15.
go for an awesome little flight. All right, let's get back on the van and go down to the main portion. Check that out. goes the tri-motor, we'll watch it take off. Got ourselves a little Ford tri-motor takeoff action. All right, let's go down to the main pavilion. Honda showed up with the Honda Jet, obviously, but also with some Accords, some generators, and some nautical uh, outboards. The main plaza had some awesome planes. Obviously, the C5 takes up most of the space, and you'll see that later in the video. But for my money, Doc, the B29, definitely steals the show. Along with Fifi, this is one of two airworthy B29s left. And as you can tell, it's polished to perfection. Not too bad for a 75-year-old hunk of metal. We got Martin here, Brian Martin. Uh, if you guys don't follow him, he's one of the best, I guess, telling people how to fly to you guys on YouTube. Yeah, a little more technical, yeah. educational. Way more technical. Hopefully he's still a little fun. Yeah, he flies the bananas out of uh, Cedar Iowa, Rapids. Cedar Rapids, Iowa. 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 Yeah, it's awesome. Thanks, Martin. Thanks, Brian. Obviously the F-35 had a 30 foot perimeter around it because these planes are still technically classified or at least portions of them are, um, but still stunning to look at in person. All right, two of the coolest planes we have. A-10, F-35. C-5 isn't bad. <laughs> Some stupid French plane with an American flag on it. Here are a couple sh profile shots of the A-10 and of course the business end of the A-10. If you haven't seen it, look it up. Um, the A-10 firing its uh, machine gun is absolutely incredible. Um, it's a 30 millimeter, yes, that is metric, Gatling gun, uh, capable of firing 3,900 rounds per minute. And for scale, it's bigger than a Volkswagen Beetle. Garmin booth, this is Stevie's plane and Scrappy, the infamous Scrappy. Headed to Cirrus for some free hydration up on their deck overlooking the entire plaza. Cirrus VIP access gets us the upstairs and free waters and Gatorade and dummy over here can't drink. His water dripped off a bit. But it's sweet, it's got a, we got a deck upstairs and can look all the way down to the flight line. And obviously I had to visit my Italian compatriots at the Technum booth. Uh, here we're taking a look at the P2010, which is basically a super refined Cessna 182 competitor. And then after that, Techna Technum's uh, P2012, which is uh, Techn Technum's replacement for the Cessna 402 or Piper Navajo. Uh, Cape Air bought a bunch of these for uh, 135 operation up and down the East Coast. I don't know what this thing is, but um, 
it's weird enough to where it's worth putting in the video. It looks like some sort of F-22 kit plane single engine prop thing. So, we just ordered some gas here. You get a little name tag, put it on top of your prop, and the gas trucks just go up and down the aisles all day looking for who got the little tags. So, just fill us up, and then tomorrow we should be able to hop out of here and go direct back to Manassas. We got an extra up there doing some flippy doos. And now we're gonna help hang out for a little bit and then go watch the jet fighters later. And of course it wouldn't be a trip to Oshkosh, um, or at least not a camping trip to Oshkosh without uh, heading to SOS Brothers uh, beer tent for a few beers in one of the evenings. Um, this place is actually awesome. The bands they bring in are incredible. Beers are cheap, cold, it works out pretty well. Well, that concludes the camping portion of the trip. And uh, the next video will be us departing uh, VFR out of Oshkosh to go back to Manassas. Thanks for coming along. And uh, remember, subscribe if you haven't, and like this video and comment if you have any questions. Next year, I'll try to do a better job of describing things as I'm looking at them. <laughs>